previously on the dragon ship. I will get back to myself and I will cause some shit to be stirred again so that you can all smell the flavor. Smell what RP's got cooking. So here's my take on it. If I had it to do it now, I will tell you I did this originally, but I, I, I would change a little bit of my approach if I had it to do over again. But essentially my mentality with my wife my daughter and my sons is they were my property. I owned them as property and had to viciously protect them and secure them and uh, put opportunities in their path so they could be successful from square one. That was my burden of performance. And it's a mentality. I didn't speak it like that, but I treated it as such. Of course, anybody taking this clip will get pissed off, of, but that's the kind, that's the level of thought that you would need and it's the level of thought that caused some conflict. And the reason it did is because sometimes I have to make choices of not being daddy's, da making a daddy's girl or making a son my best friend or treating my wife as my very best friend when I had a tough decision to make because somebody's rebelling or somebody's doing something that's disrupting, you know, the continuity of the family. Um, and I was very fortunate that my daughter had brothers because it was easy to talk about the fact that as a young woman who was the youngest and is now fertile and actually capable of being a mother, that pretty much every single man she will ever meet outside of her father wants to stick a dick in her. Straight up, doesn't matter. We talk about that as friends and you can have acquaintances, you can have all of those things, but you just gotta realize that is kind of a woman's burden. She is desirable. She has that agency and she can use it to her advantage. But the problem is once they have that in their pocket, they kind of stop with the rest of the decision making. Women have a tendency to make self-destructive problems based on or self-destructive decisions based on their emotion. Well, this feels good. It's fun. Like all my girlfriends are doing it. It can't be wrong. It can't be wrong that they're all doing this. You know, it can't be wrong that they all have 50 bodies, all of those sort of things. Uh, so you're going to have to make decisions. Yeah, you're not going to spend the night there. Yep, I am the bad guy. Uh, I might send mom in and have an argument with mom in private away from earshot about these very things. And I was very fortunate to have a wife that definitely agreed with that strategy and that I had ultimate authority to make those decisions. Now, she did real good at making a case that made me think and in several cases changed the approach. And that's a double win when you can do that. Uh, with a, a good woman that is your wife and the mother of your children. But you're going to have to make those hard decisions, particularly in the teenage years, because it's not too long after they start their menstruation that they know everything and they actually start rebelling against their mother. And it's like, mom, you don't know anything. I'm a young woman. I got all this attention. You know, essentially, I'll rebel against you too. So, you know, your wife definitely needs a lot of support with the daughter when that happens. Um, I didn't particularly understand at the time about alphas and betas but i understood that every man would do the same thing with her if they could and if it was available to do so and that i had to prepare her with the ability to make decisions and i understood that at least i told her the kind of man she should look had to have some primary skills health was number one he had to be into health had to be into health and he had to be able to make friends anywhere he had to have social abilities and after that he had to have means means that if all of her study went wrong she's well taken care of so essentially i address both both angles i think i would be a little bit more i'd use a little bit more references and stories today if i had to do over again but ultimately it turned out quite well you know she married a man that was older than her exactly in the ranges we talk about uh very socially competent and very well off physically and you know he had money muscles game and frame he fit all that bill now she had boyfriends before that were not that at all you know even betas that didn't talk much you know well i said i love you that's all i need to do guys if you think that's the case you kind of have to show that occasionally that you know they mean something to you you don't have to do it often you do it too much and you're in trouble but you know I'm just saying I might have took that approach a little bit different, but she was able to weed them out herself. So I would definitely put some focus on her own inbuilt sexual desires and, and needs in order to create a family. But I was also fortunate in the fact that she wanted children. She wanted to have a family. She just didn't know when. 
And when she went to college, they convinced her that she didn't need it until she was much later in life. You know, fortunately, she confided in her mother about this. I don't know if I want children. I mean, we're well off. I could do anything. I want to stay at home if I'm going to have children. And uh, the wife had a really interesting conversation with her about fulfillment and satisfaction throughout her life. And after that first child was born, you could see all of the years turn and she was so happy. And then, of course, then another one came and she's even happy about that. So it really changed her outlook of that social conditioning that girls have today. That first baby changes everything. You know, it even does so in men in a lesser extent. It changes their outlook, which can be a really good thing. But the opportunities that they're going to have, which is what I was talking about, without leading them first. Mm. If you haven't already, join Thor's The Dragon's Membership. It's a men's monthly interactive meeting in cyberspace. This is a mask on place for men that is censorship free to help you increase your performance, converse as well as leverage ideas, and get coaching consultations on how to handle life's issues in a modern world. This is a unique place. This is a discreet place, and it's a place for men. So what are you waiting for? Join the Dragons membership today